Hello. So, before we start, trigger warning for grooming and a lot of sensitive and pretty much not safe for work stuff. So, yeah. Um, if you want proof and evidence, I recommend you ask my friends on Discord or something. I'm too tired and stressed out and really scared to make a document and to edit the proofs in the video. So, just take my words for it. And if you want firm proof, just ask my friends. They have all the proof needed. So, I've been groomed by Kevin, and I just want to get this um, feeling out. And uh, I got groomed again by the greatest soulist. And, um, well, it's going to be a wild ride, so just take my word for it and just, just go for it. And please have a listen. Just quickly have a listen. First, we're just going to talk about Kevin since he's pretty much messed up already from the very start. I met Kevin in around 2020, I guess, I think. I'm not, I'm not sure, is it early, late, or middle, or whatever, but it's somewhere in 2020. I thought of him as just a normal DC tuber dude who just makes content and stuff, but as I became friends with him, and me and Sutart, my other friend, becomes friends with him, he started showing his colors. Now, before, we, before I continue, I just want to say, I forgot to say this beginning, but I just want to say, not all groomers are sexual, not all groomers are pedophiles and stuff. Uh, the basic definition of groomer, if I can remember clearly, is someone who emotionally manipulates the person so they can like get in a relationship or something like that. It just emotionally manipulates them in a relationship or something. Yeah, this video's unscripted, but I just want to get this out, okay? And, yeah. Kevin would do pretty gross stuff, like doing zoophilia RPs. Now, at the time, I was only 12. I was still a child, like a very young child, a child who shouldn't be on the internet, but still, I was 12, and I was really, really fucking dumb. I didn't know it was wrong at first, but then I, but then I was like, hey, this is kind of fucked up, let's stop. So, I stopped, but Kevin continued. But that's not but that's, but that's not the only thing he he has fucked up. He also did rape RPs. I I'm not kidding. He did rape RPs. He would rape my OCs, which is very very disgusting. Like I just I don't even want to explain it. Just ask my friend for it, okay? I'm very uncomfortable. It was disgusting either way. And then this is the part where it gets really triggering, so yeah, brace yourself if you can, or just skip, please. Um, apparently, Kevin used suicide and stuff like that for attention. What happened was, I told Kevin that, hey, this is kind of fucked up, don't do that, nah, 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 nah. But Kevin being Kevin, being a, a bitch, a wimp, and also really desperate for attention, said he will kill himself by jumping off a building, which is disgusting and another time um i was in a discord server with my old friend addy um i think she changed her name forgot her username sorry if you're watching this but i was in a discord server with her and i invited um my friends and including kevin into the server for fun you know just chilling and stuff but um what happened was in the voice chat i was in a voice chat with Kevin and her, you know, just chilling. Um, I made a joke saying, Oh, ping everyone saying Kevin is gay as a joke, as a clear joke. But Kevin, being a sensitive pissy bitch he is, then says he's going to kill himself again. Eddie tried calming him down and uh, told him to get therapy and stuff and get help, but no, he wouldn't. And yeah, even though he lives with his mom and stuff, which is very weird. Kevin said he his dad is in jail for robbery or something. I don't remember exactly, but yeah. And things keep on getting escalated. I keep crying at night, mostly because Kevin is very active there. And yeah. And it's very disgusting with what he's doing. And he was, he was very possessive and stuff. It was really heckin' gross. He would be really pissy, and then he would try to, and then he would say he would kill himself and stuff. It was heckin' gross. No, thank you. Also, um, 
you would do NSFW RPs, but it would ruin the character and stuff, which makes me physically uncomfortable. And then, after I unfriended him, he tried going to alternative accounts, but uh, someone found him, and uh, yeah, they stopped being friends with him. We had enough of him, we broke contact with him. Until recently, someone found a video of Kevin's very, very old channel from 2017 or something. And apparently, it was a video um, of him trying to rape his dog. I'm not kidding. It was a chihuahua or something. Kevin was like 10 by th- at the time. He, he was 14 by, uh, by the time we know him and stuff. But basically, apparently, Kevin was um, trying to get his puppy into a sex position while Kevin is almost naked. He wasn't completely naked. He was still wearing shorts, but still, it's fucking disgusting. And um, the video is still up. I don't know why YouTube hasn't taken it down or something, but yeah. The video title is My Puppy is Biting Me. And in the video, I'm not going to explain everything because it was fucking gross. And yeah, I do not wish to see that stuff. But in the video, what happened was Kevin was grabbing his puppy aggressively, trying to put, tries to put it in, tries, tries to put the puppy on his dong and the puppy was squeaking and biting and and barking in pain and agony and begging to be released and go. But Kevin just laughed it off like a little joke or something. It's very disgusting. Also, Kevin said he ran away from home but then came back after he heard his mother crying after a fight or something. Very fucking weird. Kevin is pretty immature for a 14-year-old. A uh, 14-year-old is really messed up, honestly. And then, uh, we haven't seen Kevin since. He could be in other accounts or something. His... A uh, new channel is still up, but whatever. And then very recently, great, the greatest soulless, whatever you want to call him, I'm gonna call him great, did the oopsies. He was, he was really heckin' gross and really heckin' creepy, and he cheated on his girlfriend. He tries to date a nine-year-old named Leia Candy Cat Plays or Leia the Bunny Wolf, whatever you're on. She's has she has a. YouTube and Instagram and Roblox, but I don't know her Roblox username either way, but yeah. Uh, he tried excusing it by saying it's a polyamorous relationship, but Gabe said it, it said she didn't like it. And as a polyamorous person myself, and currently in a polyamorous relationship, what Great is doing is cheating. Because basically what happened was Great um, asked his girlfriend if he could be in a polyamorous relationship with Leia, but Leia saw the message but didn't respond. But Great took that as a yes. So he proceeded, which is very fucked up and considered cheating. Another thing he cheated on his girlfriend on is the fact that during a Discord call with him, just take my words for this, but during a Discord call with him, um, he he hopes to get a dream about me. And when he woke up, he got upset that it wasn't about me, which is really fucking gross and creepy. And, oh boy, things pretty much escalated. But, um, yeah. Gabe confirmed that Great didn't give as much as t- attention to her, which is really fucking weird. And the reason Great was even getting near Leia in the first place is because, well, the Gabe's OC is canonically taken, which is very weird. But whatever, Great is a dumb child still. It's really fucking gross what he's doing. Now, please don't go out of your way to harass Great, dox him, call him a pedophile, whatever. Just don't do any of that. Just report him, block him, leave him alone. Maybe keep an eye on him just in case he grooms more children. Who knows? But, yeah. <sighs> I don't even know what to say at this point. It's just... It's really fucking gross. And I didn't know I would be groomed <laughs> this year. There are so many groomers this year. Like, what the fuck? Like, so many content creators and stuff are just groomers at this point. Like, holy fuck. <sighs> I'm just really tired. Also, Great's logic. It isn't cheating if it's on the internet. Great, everything is cheating, even on the internet. If, if their partner's uncomfortable while you're doing an RP with a nine-year-old, then that's considered cheating. He cheated on his girlfriend with a nine-year-old. He didn't give as much attention and stuff. Also, weirdly enough, he would act possessive, like I was his or something. He would act possessive when I'm near my friend, who, by the way, has all the proof and evidence needed. Please go subscribe to him and stuff and follow him on Instagram. But yeah, it was it was not fun. I had to go through an emotional roller coaster and it was horrible. 
I felt great. I felt great was a good person at first. It was, I mean, Great was a good person at first. He just drew NSFW, and people just canceled him over it. And he didn't touch the nine-year-old yet. But after the whole Great, the cancel Great thing died down, Great thought he could just fuck that. Yeah. It was really, really heckin' gross. And I didn't appreciate it. I um having trust issues lately as well. I mean, I've had trust issues ever since um, one of my ex fucking doxed me and did some shit with me, which is very, very fucking bad. I didn't like it. So, yeah, that is my experience of being groomed and stuff. Um, Please block report the users that I mentioned and do not harass or dox them because that makes you immature. Please. And, uh, yeah, have a good day, do something fun, take breaks, work on your school project, just do anything at this point. Just try to keep yourself happy. Thank you.